Welcome to another video of tips and tricks in Cypress. In this one, we're going to see some tricks with API. A neat one, I would say. So we have this API, which provides nice quotes, and we want to get, or want to make in Cypress a request that will get us this quote here. So how would we do that? Well, I already have the code written, and it's just, Ignored. So the standard way of doing it, you have ci.request, then you give it a URL, and then you basically check certain parameters from the response in the request. So let's see how this looks in Cypress. Right, let me run it again. So apparently it ran but we have no idea what it actually received so if we want to see that we need to print it to the console by double clicking it open the console and then have a look in the console so here we do have the object we do have the body and here's our quote but there is like I said another way of doing it which is more fun so what we will do is we will use this plugin uh, which provides us a new command ci.api so how do we do or how do we install this plugin well we just let me stop this so we just do npm install in our project i already installed it so it will not work for me install it again no problem so once we have that installed we do need to um, include it in include an import in our support file that's number one okay so we go to support index.js and we have we here import the general commands and we import the let's remove this one and add it again and we import the new um, package. One more thing, if we want to have IntelliSense, we need to add this reference types to our uh, specs file. And here is how you would write this test in, um, I mean, using the, the new ci.api command. If you hover over the API, you have here an example. I did it um, differently in the sense that I wanted to match one to one what we had. So the only difference that we have here is here we have should and here we have then, the only visible difference. Now, one important thing um, which I didn't show you until now is in order for the ci.api to work, you need in your package JSON, you need to have a base URL defined. And I did define the base URL for the fun quote API. And then you see I only go slash quote and slash the number. So let's remove the X. We do MPX Cypress, Cypress open. We wait a little bit until it opens. We pray it opens. It does open. And now let's see how this looks. So the first one is the standard way. And the second one is the other way. So you can see in the second one, we still have the, um, the time machine of Cypress. So we see the request, and then we have the response, and then we have our checks. But you see, it's pretty visible, yeah, what we have here. Um, I mean, if we can, uh, let's see, make another quote here. So we have quote 50, and here we still have the quote number 35. So there you have it. This is a different way of testing your API. It makes it more visual. 
as always thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye